Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris from Wheelie Tricks, and today I'm going to show you how to convert your natural height full screen slider into a dynamic height full screen slider. In the previous tutorial, I showed you how to install a natural height full screen slider onto the homepage of your Wheelie site. Uh, I will post a link to that previous tutorial in the description of this video. Okay, so this is where we left off. This is the natural height full screen slider we installed into this demo site. Um, and we're going to replace it, or we're actually going to convert it into a dynamic height full screen slider. So if you look at the slider uh, on the live site, this is the natural height full screen slider. And it's just the natural height of the Weebly slideshow element because that's how we created this slider. Okay, and to, um, we're going to convert it to a dynamic height full screen slider. And what that's going to do is it's going to uh, force the slider to fit itself within the height allocated uh, by this, this, by this uh, screen here, or actually by the browser. So when we convert this to a dynamic height full screen slider, this caption area should be able to be seen. It should sit right on the bottom here. It should all fit within this area. Okay, so let's get started. So this is the tutorial that we just completed, and I'm going to scroll to the bottom of it to obtain the information to convert our natural height full screen slider into a dynamic height full screen slider. And here we go. All right, so all we have to do is install three bits of coding. That's it. Um, so we just need to find these three codes. Actually, we need to find two codes and install uh, one new one into the codes that we installed from step four of the previous tutorial. So I'm going to copy this first one here. And I'm going to find the hashtag slider CSS code. So enter the Weebly editor, click on theme at the top, edit HTML forward slash CSS on the bottom left. Click on your CSS file and find that hashtag slider code. All right, whoops, scroll on my mouse. Still isn't working. Okay, and uh, paste that in there. Okay, and the second one, we're just gonna copy the entire orange code back to the Weebly editor, paste this at the bottom of the CSS codes we added for the previous tutorial. I'm just going to remove that indentation to make things look a little bit nicer. And the third code, I'm just going to copy these guys right here. I'm going to find this CSS code. And that guy is right here. And okay. Looks somewhat nice. Uh, I mean, I'm the only one that's going to be seeing it. So, <laughs> all right. Okay, so uh, click save, and I'm going to publish the site, and this should convert our natural height full screen slider into a dynamic height full screen slider. I'm going to refresh the page and see if that has happened, and it has not. So our caption area still cannot be seen, and if I scroll down, all right, so the slider still doesn't fit within the entire height of this viewport here. Why is that? Hmm. Oh, okay. That makes sense. So this black bar at the top must be occupying some space. Uh, so the coding we just installed didn't account for this space of this black bar at the top. Let us account for it. So going back to the back to the tutorial, the bottom here. So we have the exact same three codes that we just worked with above, but they're they're worked a little differently to account for a fixed header. So as you can see in the tutorial, um, we need to add the orange bits to the codes that we just added. All right, so I'm just going to copy this whole area because it's going to make it easier than just copying these individual orange pieces. So I'm going to find the hashtag slider again. Actually, no, first what I should do is I need to find the height of this black bar right here. So I'm going to right-click on it, inspect it, highlight my mouse over the header div. And it's telling me, if you see on the top left, if I move my mouse, it'll disappear. But you can see it says 1903 by 56, and 56 is the height of the black bar. So remember that number, 56. Okay, so back here, copy the code, the first code. Find the hashtag slider. We're going to find that. Back to the weekly editor. Theme at the top. Edit HTML forward slash CSS at the bottom. The hashtag slider okay and i'm going to replace the code that we uh, installed just a little while ago 
paste the new one in there. And I'm going to replace 70 with 56 because 56 is the height of this black bar. So now this coating will now account for the black bar. So the coating says that the slider div is going to be the height. The, the height of the slider div is going to be calculated uh, by at 100% the viewport height minus 56 px, which is the height of this black bar here. And that should allow the slider to be completely dynamic in which it will fit 100% uh, within the display it's being viewed on. Okay, so let's go grab the second code. Copy that back here, and that code is right here. No, it was, no, it's not here. Okay, delete the old one, add the new one, change the 70 to 56 once again, okay, and grab that last code. And that guy is right here. Delete that. Add the new one. And last, last time, change the 70 to 56. Save. And now our site should become a dynamic height full screen slider from a natural height full screen slider. Let me go to the site. And once I refresh the page, the caption area should be entirely visible at the bottom here. Refresh. And there we go, look at that. The slider appears to fit 100% of the height of the screen. So I'm going to scroll down and, yep, you can see. So as soon, the second I scroll down, the main content area begins to appear. So there you go. There's your full, there's your, that is how you convert a natural height full screen slider to a dynamic height full screen slider.